I'm Sonia Riggs of the Colorado Restaurant Association. Welcome to On The Fly. Earlier this month, the CRA Board of Directors spent nearly an entire day talking about upcoming legislative issues, our government affairs strategy, and reviewed several ballot initiatives that will impact the restaurant industry. Here's a brief overview of the positions taken by the board and why. On Amendment 73, we are opposed. First, let me say that the CRA does support our K-12 education system in Colorado. Our students deserve an excellent education as many of them will be leaders in our industry in the future. However, Amendment 73 has some serious flaws. First, it would dramatically increase taxes on most Colorado employers and would force many small and independent businesses to pay an income tax rate higher than the rate applied to multi-billion dollar corporations. Second, it could prevent individual districts from instituting future needed local taxes. It offers no guarantee that the funds raised will make it to the classroom, and all of this would be placed in the Colorado Constitution, where it will be almost impossible to fix if the system is not perfect at launch. Roughly 75% of Colorado's restaurants are small, independent, single-unit establishments that will see their taxes significantly increased in an already difficult business. Roughly 95 cents of every dollar spent in a restaurant goes to the people, the place, and the food. There is just simply not a lot of room for you to absorb even more costs. For more information, go to noamendment73.com. On Amendment 74, we are also opposed. While Amendment 74 seems like a smart protection for property owners, the broad language has a potential to cause huge unintended consequences. We have been working tirelessly to pass laws or rules to protect the restaurant industry. However, if this amendment were to pass, not only could some of the groups that oppose those laws and regulations seek compensation from the state of Colorado, they would likely also force those government bodies to repeal the very protections we have been fighting for. Furthermore, because this would limit local government from issuing zoning laws due to threat of lawsuits, this could put a quick halt to affordable housing being built where our hospitality employees need it most. The state of Oregon has a similar law and has already seen $3 billion in claims brought against their state. Amendment 74 is even more extreme. This is a poorly written law that should not be added to our Constitution. Go to no74.co for more information. On Amendments Y and Z, we support. Amendments Y and Z would change how our districts are determined, creating a more fair, effective, and transparent process, leading to better representation in the Colorado Capitol and in Washington. Skewing district maps to one party's political benefit, also known as gerrymandering, has been a practice used since 1812. Amendments Y and Z change that practice, requiring that districts be drawn to promote competitive elections and also keep communities intact. After three out of Colorado's last four legislative maps wound up in court, Colorado leaders are ready to try something new, and we agree. For more information, go to fairmapscolorado.com. Our November ballot is one of the longest we've seen in some time, and we encourage you all to take some time to carefully review every initiative and candidate and strongly consider how they will impact this important industry. And please take time to vote. The board also discussed several issues appearing on Denver's 2019 ballot, as well as many other issues that we're seeing nationally that will eventually make their way to Colorado. There are some frightening things on the horizon that we need to be prepared for. We'll continue to update you on those developments moving forward. If you have questions about any of these ballot initiatives or would like to learn more about the CRA legislative efforts, contact our office. And to get more involved with our legislative process, save the date of January 9th for our Blue Ribbon Reception. Held at the beginning of the Colorado Legislative Session, this reception brings together members of the restaurant community with elected officials, many of whom will be newly elected. This is your chance to tell your personal stories on how rules and regulations impact your everyday life and your business. In other news, did you know that the CRA has one of the few Pinnacle Safety Group programs in the state? The CRA Safety Group program gives you potential discounts and dividends for keeping a safe work environment. Join us November 6th for a free safety group training on slip, trip, and fall prevention in Colorado. In Colorado, slips, trips, and falls are almost always the number one cause of employee injuries. These claims can be costly for employers as well as painful and debilitating for the injured worker. 
Check out our website for more information on this training session or on participating in the CRA Safety Group program. As always, look for more information on any of these topics or events on our website, our Facebook page, or by calling our office. This has been On the Fly with the CRA. Thank you.